The Ernest Payson Show, you are watching him right now. Guess who I got on the show? A friend <laughs> of the show again. Destiny Bunker Batman. It's Gary Parrott again, the herbalist. It's good to be Friend here. of the show. Gary, thank you so much. How's your summer been, bud? It's been fantastic so far. Helping uh, to heal people and change people's lives around? Absolutely. We had a very powerful situation going in the studio today that we will probably take to our Garrett grave and it's going to be very, very beneficial to people under the sound of my voice. And I look forward to it. Today, Gary, you have come on and we're speaking about the eyes and the yes. eyes of health. Iridology, and I have an iridology chart, ladies and gentlemen. This man can dissect and look into your eye with a flashlight and he can dissect what's going on with you. Is your liver bad? You know, do you have gallstones? Do you have a high cholesterol, et cetera, et cetera? Gary, would you expound more on the reason why you're here? Other than to look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope we'd have fun. Let's hope oh, that's for me. That's more for me. important than that. Uh, so basically, there are two colors of eyes, blue and brown. Mm -hmm. All other colors are different levels of lymphatic congestion. Okay. Now, I have a couple of eyes here. These are, are blue, but you can see they have a white hue to them. Oh, absolutely. They're different, but there is something going on with one of, the, one of these eyes. Yes. So the body is split right down the middle. And the left side doesn't know the right side exists, and the right side doesn't know the left side exists. And this is our lymphatic system. Now, we can see the lymphatic system through the eyes. So the left eye tells me the history of the body on this side, and the drain for the lymphatic system is through the kidneys. Okay. Also the third kidney, which is the, the skin. skin. Right. So this person is having a particular issue on one side, and that's why there is more uh, lymph. Well, I don't need that. There is more lymphatic congestion in that eye than in on oh, that side of their body than the other one because the kidney is kind of weak. Yes, as opposed to the one in my right hand, I can see a total difference, and I'm sure people, if they hone in, they can see the same. Yes, yeah. and there are many issues in that body, but that, that's, that person actually is in pretty good shape. The reason I picked that particular set of eyes is that person is actually pretty healthy. And that is, the, anytime you see white in a blue eye, that is the first stage of lymphatic congestion, which is called acute. And you may have some issues where you have to go to the drugstore and buy something, or you have some uh, live liquids or some live foods to get your body generating enough energy again to keep you from uh, getting sick. We do know that the eyes are the window seal to the soul. Yes, they are. You are watching, by the way, there on this Facing Show, Peg R.I. TV. Thank you so much for being here. Hope you're having a great summer. We're talking about eye health and iridology with Mr. Gary Parent. So in these two pictures, this, these eyes are from one person, and you can see they're really different. Oh, absolutely. Now, that's more of a green hue. Those are weird looking eyes, Gary. Yeah, it's, it's more of a green hue. So that's a subacute lymphatic congestion, which is a second stage. Okay, what's going on with that individual here? They're... Uh, High cholesterol, they're, what, bad no. diet, what's happening? Well, no, I mean, I, I have to do a full reading on okay. it. I mean, there's a skin ring there. Right. Pupils look like they might be, the pupils in that look like they're a little large, which is an electrical issue. We know that but, when you have yellow in the eyes, sclerosis or jaundice from people from drinking too much. Liver. Liver yep. malfunctioning. Yep. Okay. Liver gallbladder Continue. issues. So anytime that you see somebody with green eyes, know that they're having a subacute lymphatic congestion issue. And if it's not addressed... In layman's terms, what does that mean, Gary? It means that you're progressively starting to walk down the path of dis-ease in the body. Okay. So I like acute, that disease, dis-ease. Yeah. We don't... We caught don't that, actually, Gary. I caught that. I caught that. We don't Play actually... Your little pun there, Gary. <laughs> we, we don't actually 
uh, look at disease in the body. We look at dis-ease in the body caused from acids backing up. So when you have uh, green eyes or hazel eyes, mm -hmm. you're actually, uh, as you can see, that eye is blue and the other one is really, so that's a kidney issue on that side of the body. And there are ways to flush that out because nature's solution to pollution is dilution. So, so as the kidneys start to, I like that. I like that. As the kidneys start to uh, get congested, they can't eliminate the waste fast enough. It's building faster in the body than the body is able to eliminate it through Looks its like thirteen channels. Looks like absolutely going on with this individual here. Oh, there's yeah, there's you tons of stuff here. Yeah, tons of stuff. I'm sure going the people on. in TV land can see that. I'm sure they don't know what they're looking at, but I'm right. sure they, they would say something's going on with yeah. this person's eye. Because we have to remember. You, this, what I can see in this is people who are having or possible life-threatening situations on one side of their body, like you can have cancer on one side of your body and not on the other side. Because you right? say one side does not know what the other side is doing. Right, right. You, you documented that. And uh, I spoke at an MS group and there was a person there with MS. Yep. Yeah. There was a person there with MS that only had it on one side of their body. Now, how rare is that? Because we don't think about that, right? We think of the body as one big whole unit. And we need to stop thinking about the human body and start focusing on the human battery. Because we're not a body, we're a battery. And when we get lymphatic congestion, we're slowing down our ability to build energy. I got my eyes on you, Gary. And when, when that goes down, it's, it's not good. Not good at all. And then we have... Uh, these are actual brown eyes. So I just wanted to show you those so that you can see. Hey, 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 you watching Ernest Faison's show. I got my buddy, Mr. Gary Parent on. We're talking about iridology and the study of eyes. And he can actually dissect with a flashlight and read it later as to actually, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on in your pupil, your cornea. And this is a very skilled man to do this and everybody can't do it. And there are only two different types of eyes. There's a blue eye and there's a brown eye. There's a brown eye. Okay. And I did bring this along. This is uh, fully raw Christina. Okay. And there's a picture of her years ago when her eyes are brown. And then later, her eyes are blue. And I met her four years ago, I think it was. And her eyes are so blue, they look like there's flashlights on behind them. They're just so bright and blue, it's incredible. And Does that denote good health when somebody's eyes are piercing and beaming? Yes. Okay. Yes. I've seen people with dull, it's, you know, looking right. eyes, and that obviously is low, dis en low ease, energy disease, dis-ease, yes. as you call it. So through uh, our programs and, and many other people's programs, we use live liquids, live food, uh, herbs, uh, movement, slow movement. When you're running, you're burning more energy and creating acid in the body. So you run out of gas. Well, these exercises you can do for 15, 20 minutes, and they will build energy in the body instead of burning energy. And that energy is what heals your body, really. Quantum energy? Yes, quantum energy mm -hmm. from right up there in the universe, right? That's right. And we breathe that in. And we, we did an excellent experiment today, the three of us. Yes. And uh, that was very, very spiritual. I'll, I'll never forget it. I felt the presence it's, of you know who. Yeah, we're, we're infinite beings in an infinite universe in a world of abundance. We're taught that we are, uh, they were taught self-doubt. Uh, we're in a world of chaos and that everything is scarce. But we're the only animals, human beings are the only things that cook their food, that teach the others that they're not worthy because they have to one-up each other, right? Absolutely. And, and so, and I don't have a problem with that system. What I have a problem with is people getting so wrapped up in that mentally, physically, that they end up hurting themselves. Right. And it was a blessing because you were a vessel, I was a condiment, and uh, there was some stuff being disseminated mm -hmm. to a, seems to be a very uh, interesting gentleman that we met today. And 
I feel humbled and honored to know that uh, he came to an awareness as to where he needs to be uh, going forward. So I just wanted to get that. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's built a great Continue. Life. So I would like to take a picture of your eyes. Absolutely. Okay. So Ladies let's and gentlemen, do we're that. doing a live demonstration on Ernest's eyes, old brown eyes here. And, uh, <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture of your eye, but first I'm going to show everybody how to light your eye. Sure. And because you have dark eyes just like I do, mm -hmm. well, when you go to take a picture of an eye that's dark, it comes out dark and you can't really read it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show people how to light the eye and then go in. If I can get my finger in the right place here. There we go. Let me try again here. And then we do the other eye. I don't know if I should, uh, how am I? Turn my head gear? Uh, yeah, I don't, just don't want to put the camera in the, going to have to, if I go this way, how's this? That's not too bad. And I'll light it from here. Actually, this one's better than the other one. So Gary, you took pictures of my eyes and you shined a flashlight in my eye. What exactly were you doing and how will you be able to diagnose what I'm negligent of or what I'm doing too much of? What's the process behind that? When I use an eye chart like that, okay, okay, eye chart, and I'm looking at someone's eye, mm -hmm. and this is a right eye, so we want the other one. Yes. So when we're looking at that eye, I, like that says left on it, right? Yeah. So when I look at a left eye, that chart shows me where the lungs are, where the bronchioles are, where the large intestine, the small intestine, the liver, the kidneys. And I can see all that in the iris of that eye. You can actually take that flashlight, and because you're training Dr. Gorda, who's down in Florida, you can actually dissect and know what's going on Yes, with me? I, I can see every cell in your body. I can see your liver, your pancreas, your spleen, your lungs, everything throughout your Glaucoma. whole body. Glaucoma? I mean, yes. can you diagnose uh, this? Well, we don't diagnose this disease. Yeah. Because we can't see disease in here. We see lymphatic congestion. Okay. And there are four levels of lymphatic congestion from the least problematic to the most devastating, we have acute, subacute, chronic, and degenerative. Degenerative is the worst, correct? Degenerative is the worst. Usually people with cancer or things like that, they have a degenerative lymphatic congestion in their body. And the reason that we know that the body is split in two is you can have cancer on one side of your body and not on the other side. Okay. And yeah, you're watching Ernest Face and Show, Peg R.I. TV. Got my buddy, Mr. Gary Perrin on, talking about ir iridology. And uh, he's uh, showing us magnificent ways how you can influence the eye by shining a flashlight. And he later goes back and he can diagnose the things which are wrong. This is very fascinating. And we use live liquids, foods, live foods, uh, just add it to your regular diet. Can I, can I cut to the chase here real quick? Because yeah. I know a lot of people want to know, okay, Ernest, you're talking about the eyes and everything, which is very important. And I want to be able to see very good for a long time, Ernest, what are some of the things? In other words, your diet, Gary. What are some of the things? Because my mother always told me, eat carrots. Is there any truth to that? Yes, there is. Okay, berries. Yes, berries are really good for the electrical system and for charging the body. There's a lot of healing properties in berries. Okay, and uh, you and I meet at Shasti's, shout out to Shasti's, and uh, we get the bright-eyed tea. Yep. Which is very, very good. Yes, and it's uh, turmeric. I don't know all that's in it, but it has turmeric in it. Yeah. Uh, and that's great for your digestive system. But uh, I'm not sure if that made it or not, but nature's solution to pollution is dilution. Okay. Solution to pollution, so, yes. dilution. Okay. So if you had a, a bowl Throwing of a few nuggets at me today, aren't you? Okay. So if you had a bowl of pudding here, hmm. right, and it's congested, yes. and it doesn't move around, 
how do you get it to move? You put water in it and you keep stirring it and it gets thinner and thinner, right? Same sure. thing, when your body gets congested, we need hydration in there, proper hydration with live liquids and live foods to help dissolve all that and move it out. It'll eliminate scar tissue. I mean, there isn't anything that nature will not do to help you heal. You know, Gary, what you're saying is magical because unfortunately we live in an information age and there's something called a computer monitor, better known as a computer. And either you're gonna get carpal tunnel Mm -hmm. Or you're going to have bad eyes because certain ones of us who are looking at a computer, that screen, that monitor, now prorate that times five days a week, times mm -hmm. however, many t however many years that you're on your job. Uh, Houston, we got a problem. Yes, we do. That's projected light. Mm -hmm. Our eyes are designed to see reflective light. What's so, the difference? Reflective light shines on an image and allows us to see it. A projected light is like trying to look into the sun. Okay. Okay, so when we're looking at a computer screen, we're at a fixed distance. Our eyes are made to, to scan the horizon and look up close and do things all day long, right? Very important, ladies and gentlemen, what this gentleman's saying right now. So when we are on a fixed object, and it's projecting light into our eyes. It's going right into our nervous system. And it's a pulsating light. Yes. Reflective yes. light is not pulsating light. Speaking about pulsating light, Gary, I'm going to date myself <laughs> and back in them, those parties, backyard parties with the strobe lights and the black lights. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Absolutely. And being slightly uh, uh, distorted. And yeah, Jethro Tull and Pink Floyd. That's, yeah. a, that's, a, that's a different show, Gary. <laughs> that is a different show, but it's an awesome show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's one that needs to be made. Strawberry fields are forever. That's right. Yes, sir. And, and music is a big part of uh, our ability to heal. Laughter. Okay. Sure. Love, joy, happiness, you know, and, and that's not what a lot of us are programmed to do. Unfortunately not. And it's something that we have to relearn. We have to unlearn what we were taught and relearn how to be a kid again. Okay. So we've talked about some of the problems. Okay. Now can you take us to what are some of the solutions? Yes. Yeah, so they're, all, they're all basically the same. So herbs are organ and gland specific. Mm -hmm. So you could go on live foods and liquids, add them into your diet every day and get some benefits from that. But when we, that's matter to matter. So our body is made of matter, right? Correct. And, and that's what most everything that's used against us, it goes against our matter, right? And because it's going against matter, we can feel it. But when you're talking energy, we can build energy in the body anytime we want to. And the slow, the slow pace of Tai Chi, Qigong, that allows, us, that allows us to build energy in the body faster than we're burning it. And that energy is healing energy. So once you start... We experienced that in the studio today. Yes. So as you're experiencing this and you're allowing energy into your body, you can direct energy to any part of your body you want to, once you, once you know how. And that's really important because if you have having an area that, say it's the eyes, okay, you can direct energy to that area and the fluid in your eyes, lymphatic fluid. So as you alkalize your body with these alkalizing, uh, totally hydrating liquids and foods, you're changing the chemistry in your eye and your vision will come back. I know this for a fact. When I was six years old, I wore double vision glasses. My very first uh, cleanse that I did was a master cleanse. And by day seven, I've never worn glasses since. That's, that's and I was six or seven then. I'm going to be 69 in September. <clears throat> so that's that was around 2000 that uh, that, that happened. So. Okay, that, that's fantastic. Here's a question off the top of my head that I, I would like to know because a lot of people watch something called a television. Mm -hmm. And they're in the living room and they got the lights off, Gary. What is the correct way to watch the television with the lights on, a little light, or in the dark? 
the best way is either candlelight or uh, some type of a red light, yellow, orange, something like that, because blue light, even at night, blue light affects us. It's uh, one of the things that's happening with the screens is people are up all night, they can't go to sleep. And the reason they can't go to sleep is it kills the melatonin. Ah. And once you, uh, and melatonin and serotonin, Mel puts you to sleep and Sarah wakes you up, right? Uh, well, Sarah, I like that Sarah to wake me up. <laughs> so when we are, when our body is building melatonin for us to go to sleep, melatonin and serotonin are the same chemical. It's the light that changes it. That's why when you're sleeping in the morning, the light comes through the window, you wake up. So it's safe to say, Gary, you do not want to drink an espresso before you go to bed or 20 minutes before you go to bed. Right. There are people, I, I am a person that can do that. Right. Well, you've been in the game a long time, but I'm saying John Q. Public, who has, what, uh, insomnia, that's the word I was looking yep. for. Why would you drink uh, tea or coffee 20 minutes before you go into bed, knowing that the caffeine is going to kick in, correct? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to do that. Yep. Or you, so, you know. so people that are ADHD, yes. when they drink stimulants, it puts them to sleep. That's reverse psychology? Is that, is that what we're going No, it's, it's, it's chemistry. Just the way it is? Yeah. Just the way they're built? The yep. DNA? It's, yeah, it's the way that, uh, that my chemistry is. Mm -hmm. So stimulants don't stimulate me. They put me to sleep. That's something different. That is, it's a whole... It's you're, a, on a, you're on a totally different plane with that because yep. uh, I'm sure the average person can't really put that together. No, no, they can't. And no, they, they, they can't see me drink together. a cup of coffee. Or, I haven't had coffee in like 20-something years, but mm -hmm. when I used to drink coffee, uh, I'd be drinking like at maybe 10, 11 o'clock at night, and people go, how are you going to go to sleep? I said, don't worry. <laughs> what do you say to these things like uh, tetrahydrazoline, better known as Visine? Uh, are these... Uh, you know, byproducts are good to squirt in the eye? Or they they, they get rid of the red, which is inflammation. Okay. Okay. But you're not addressing the issue. The issue is from inside the eye. Right. I always thought it was groovy just to be able to pronounce that way. Tetrahydrazoline. I feel educated now. <laughs> and another thing to tell you not to do is to use boron. But actually, eye drops from the store has boron in it. Mm -hmm. And boron is... Uh, sold now as a laundry booster because it's a driver and it drives okay. things in. So when you're using boron and you're uh, using it in a live liquid, it drives it deeper into the tissue to pull out those acids okay. so that you can alkalize your body. So keeping it uh, John Q. Public and in layman's terms, I got about two more minutes here, Gary, before we go. Uh, why don't you just very quickly outline some of the things that people need to be doing for better eye health? In 140 characters or less. Yeah. Deep breath, deep breathing, mm -hmm. uh, proper live hydration, which would be the master cleanse, coconut water, lemon water, coconut those water. kind of things. Uh, celery, make it celery, celery juice. Okay. Celery juice is amazing for you because it has a lot of sodium in it, so it's good for the bones. I'm and learning, it also has learning. those strings in it, right? Sure. And those are. Uh, kind of like bone fibers. That's why it snaps when you, you get a piece of fresh celery. So it's good for bones. Uh, rest. Oh, getting absolutely. sleep. Absolutely. Get away from the no computer. Yes. Like an hour or so before you go to bed. Do your deep breathing. Listen to some music. Calm down. Don't go watch the news. Zen or whatever it is. Yes. Don't watch the news before you go to bed. Because uh, right. you carry that with you. Yeah. So It's all depressing anyway. Yeah, so what I do is, if I'm working on a project, I will focus on that project before I go to sleep. And then maybe my dreams or when I wake up in the morning, all these ideas will come in. And That is fascinating stuff. I have my friend, Mr. Gary Parent, on my show. You are watching the Ernest Faison Show. Again, hope you are enjoying your summer. We just spoke to you about eye health, Gary's kind of outline something. He actually did a reading on me. He shined a flashlight in my eye. So berries, you know, uh, carrots, all of these beautiful things. Right. Fruits, berries, melons, and vegetables. That's right. 
and, and we herbs. could talk on and on. And there will be more shows. And I will have the results of what he showed me in my eye when he shined the flashlight in my eye. So until then, ladies and gentlemen, take care of yourself. God bless you. Until next time, we will do it again. Peace. Thank you, Gary. The Ernest Faison Show, you are watching him right now. Guess who I got on the show? A friend <laughs> of the show again. Destiny Bunker's Batman. It's Gary Parrott again, the herbalist. It's good to be here. Friend of the show. Gary, thank you so much. How's your summer been, bud? It's been fantastic so far. Helping uh, to heal people and change people's lives around? Absolutely. We had a very powerful situation going on in the studio today that we will probably take to our Garrett grave and it's gonna be very, very beneficial to people under the sound of my voice. And I look forward to it. Today, Gary, you have come on and we're speaking about the eyes and the yes. eyes of health. Iridology, and I have an iridology chart, ladies and gentlemen. This man can dissect and look into your eye with a flashlight and he can dissect what's going on with you. Is your liver bad? You know, do you have gallstones? Do you have a high cholesterol, et cetera, et cetera? Gary, would you expound more on the reason why you're here, other than to look pretty? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope we'd have fun. Let's hope my oh, knowledge is more important than that. Uh, so basically, there are two colors of eyes, blue and brown. Mm -hmm. All other colors are different levels of lymphatic congestion. Okay. Now, I have a couple of eyes here. These are, are blue, but you can see they have a white hue to them. Oh, absolutely, they're different, but there is something going on with one of, the, one of these eyes. Yes, so the body is split right down the middle, and the left side doesn't know the right side exists, and the right side doesn't know the left side exists. And this is our lymphatic system. Now, we can see the lymphatic system through the eyes. So the left eye tells me the history of the body on this side, and the drain for the lymphatic system is through the kidneys. Okay. Also the third kidney, which is the, the skin. skin. Right. So this person is having a particular issue on one side, and that's why there is more uh, lymph. Well, let me that. There is more lymphatic congestion in that eye than in on that side of their body than the other one because the kidney is kind of weak. Yes, as opposed to the one in my right hand, I can see a total difference, and I'm sure people, if they hone in, they can see the same. Yes, yeah. and there are many issues in that body, but that, that's, that person actually is in pretty good shape. The reason I picked that particular set of eyes is that person is actually pretty healthy. And that is, the, anytime you see white in a blue eye, that is the first stage of lymphatic congestion, which is called acute. And you may have some issues where you have to go to the drugstore and buy something or you have some uh, live liquids or some live foods to get your body generating enough energy again to keep you from uh, getting sick. We do know that the eyes are the window seal to the soul. Yes, they are. You are watching, by the way, the Ernest Facing Show, PEG RI TV. Thank you so much for being here. Hope you're having a great summer. We're talking about eye health and iridology with Mr. Gary Parent. 
So in these two pictures, this, these eyes are from one person, and you can see they're really different. Oh, absolutely. Now, that's more of a green hue. Those are weird looking eyes, Gary. Yeah, it's, it's more of a green hue. So that's a subacute lymphatic congestion, which is a second stage. Okay, what's going on with that individual here? They're, uh, High cholesterol, what, bad no. diet, what's happening? Well, no, I mean, I, I have to do a full reading on okay. it. I mean, there's a skin ring there. Right. Pupils look like they might be, pupils and that look like they're a little large, which is an electrical issue. We know that but, when you have yellow in the eyes, sclerosis or jaundice from people from drinking too much. Liver. Liver. Yep. Malfunctioning. Yep. Okay. Liver gallbladder Continue. issues. So anytime that you see somebody with green eyes, know that they're having a subacute lymphatic congestion issue. And if it's not addressed... In layman's terms, what does that mean, Gary? It means that you are progressively starting to walk down the path of dis-ease in the body. Okay. So I like acute, that. Disease, dis-ease. Yeah. We don't... We caught don't that, actually, Gary. I caught that. I caught that. We don't Play actually... Words. Your little pun there, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't actually uh, look at disease in the body. We look at dis-ease in the body caused from acids backing up. So when you have uh, green eyes or hazel eyes, mm -hmm. you're actually, uh, as you can see, that eye is blue and the other one is really, so that's a kidney issue on that side of the body. And there are ways to flush that out because nature's solution to pollution is dilution. So, so as the kidneys start to, I like that. I like that. As the kidneys start to uh, get congested, they can't eliminate the waste fast enough. It's building faster in the body than the body is able to eliminate it through it its like thirteen channels. Absolutely going on with this individual here. Oh, there's yeah, there's you tons of stuff here. Yeah, tons of stuff. I'm sure going the people on. in TV land can see that. I'm sure they don't know what they're looking at, but I'm right. sure they, they would say something's going on with yeah. this person's eye. Because we have to remember. You, this, what I can see in this is people who are having a possible life-threatening situations on one side of their body, like you can have cancer on one side of your body and not on the other side. Because you right? say one side does not know what the other side is doing. Right, right. You, you documented that. And uh, I spoke at an MS group and there was a person there with MS. Yep. Yeah. There was a person there with MS that only had it on one side of their body. Now, how rare is that? Because we don't think about that, right? We think of the body as one big whole unit. And we need to stop thinking about the human body and start focusing on the human battery. Because we're not a body, we're a battery. And when we get lymphatic congestion, we're slowing down our ability to build energy. I got my eyes on you, Gary. And when, when that goes down, it's, it's not good. Not good at all. And then we have... Uh, these are actual brown eyes. So I just wanted to show you those so that you can see. Hey, 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 you watching Ernest Faison's show. I got my buddy, Mr. Gary Parent on. We we're talking about iridology and the study of eyes. And he can actually dissect with a flashlight and read it later as to actually, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on in your pupil, your cornea. And this is a very skilled man to do this and everybody can't do it. And there are only two different types of eyes. There's a blue eye and there's a brown eye. There's a brown eye. Okay. And I did bring this along. This is uh, fully raw Christina. Okay. And there's a picture of her years ago when her eyes are brown. And then later, her eyes are blue. And I met her four years ago, I think it was. And her eyes are so blue, they look like there's flashlights on behind them. They're just so bright and blue, it's incredible. And Does that denote good health when somebody's eyes are piercing and beaming? Yes. Okay. Yes. I've seen people with dull, you know, looking right. eyes, and that obviously is low, dis en low ease, energy disease, dis-ease, yes. as you call it. So through uh, our programs and, and many other people's programs, we use live liquids, live food, uh, herbs, uh, movement, 